Hey, what's up? Welcome back, Leonidas Gist here coming at you. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a bridge page using Smart Member. So, we're just going to dive right in. In your Smart Member control panel, you just want to click Bridge Pages and then click Create New Bridge Page. It's going to bring you to this screen. So, when you get to this screen, you have templates that are already made for you. You can go ahead and preview these templates and see what they look like if you want to do an event, if you want to have email opt in. They already have some templates that are set up for you, which are pretty cool. Um, if you want to have an order page, if you're selling a product or service or something, you can have these cool templated order pages and you can preview them. Uh, basically, all you need to do is to edit all of the parameters on here, fit whatever your product or service is that you're getting ready to uh, sell, and then put your button that's going to send you out to your purchase process. So it's pretty cool. You know, you can just go in and edit this and, and I'll walk you through how to, how to do that. And I'll walk you through how to create a bridge page from scratch because that's usually what I do. Other, it's just a blank canvas. We're going to dive on into that in another video. Sales pages, again, the templates already done for you. Thank you pages, uh, video pages, pretty simple, straightforward. Webinar, webinar pages, pretty straightforward. So um, let's look at some of the opt-in pages first off. Um, if you want to go ahead and use a template, by all means, go right ahead. Um, the templates are pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to use a simple one, this one right here. Just going to select it. And the templates are pretty flexible. So you can, there's a lot that you can do with the parameters in here. So that's basically what the template's going to look like. You can input your, lo your logo. And this is pretty much, these pages are built in different uh, th the sections. So you have different options. You got your sections, you have your rows, and you have your columns, and, you, and then you have your elements. So um, with your inside your settings, you have the options for your name and permalink, your meta tags, your background settings, tracking codes, custom CSS, search engine visibility, and you can also, if you want to create this a template of your own, you can save it as a template. So, um, what I normally do uh, when I'm in here, I start off with the settings, and I'm just going to go in and, and name the page. So I'm just going to name this test training just to keep it consistent and that's just that name right there you're the only person that's going to see this in, in the smart member interface in the back office this permalink this is what the URL the other the URL is going to look like when you when we get saved and we publish the page um, so I'm going to go back forms oh, I'm sorry and then meta tags and social this is if I want to give it a social title if somebody shares this page whatever I put in this field this that's what's going to pop up on the social trends and the social description. So if somebody shares it on Facebook or Snap or uh, Twitter or something, it's going to have this little blurb that you put for the. It's going to say test training page description and then the keywords. You can see it obviously, and then I can upload a, a custom social image to it, which will be, which will make it pretty. You know, it, it'll stand out. So if I wanted to do that, just click on the image icon, and then you can either drag your image here, you can or you can choose the file. Alright, here we go. So I'm just going to grab just a random photo. Don't be fucking crazy. Alright, cool. And I'm just going to go open. It's going to upload that. So that'll be um, the image. And then when people share it, that's the image they're going to see. Let's go back. Um, background settings. If you wanted to have a specific background color, you can do that. It's not going to show it because there's an image. So if I wanted to take this out, I could just wipe out the image. And then I can have any background co color that I wanted on my page. See how it's updating every time I I select the color, the position of the image. If I wanted that, to, if if I uploaded an image, then I can change how I wanted it to lay out on the page. Tracking codes. This is if you want to put your Facebook pixel in here or your Google Analytics code. This is where you would put that. Uh, custom CSS. If you're doing any custom code on the page, I never use this option, honestly, so I'm not even sure if, how, how it works with Smart with, with Smart Member. Search engine. You can choose whether you want to hide it or have it shown in search. And then uh, moving on. So over to forms. Forms is where if you're collecting leads, as we are in this page, this is how you're going to select where, um, like your your redirect URL after they submit. Um, and then. Um, the email list that we wanted to go on. Remember we created that email list in the previous video so this is where we'll select that, that test training and you put your tags if you want to remember where these leads are coming from you can, you can tag them in there. Um, 
right, moving on. All right, so in the sections now, which is pretty cool, I like to mess with the sections a lot because uh, it gives you this. This kind of lays out the way the page is going to look on mobile and on desktop. So a lot of traffic that I run is mobile traffic, so I like to make sure that I use the small um, width for that page simply because it's going to change the layout on the mobile devices. So check this out. So that little, this little highlighted area, that's that's what people are going to see on their mobile device. And they're going to see this, the maroon background. There you can see what's right there. So even though I have the maroon background, um, if they were to look at this on their mobile device, they're not going to see the maroon background here. They're just going to see this gray area. So just keep that in mind if you're creating these pages for mobile or for desktop. It's going to, that uh, this setting is going to affect the way it is laid out on your page on the, on the, for the, the specific device. And you're gonna find that pretty much in each section that's in my computer stuff. Each section is pretty much gonna be like that. Every time you have a new section, you can change the width. So just keep that in mind as you're designing your your bridge pages. Come on. 